The final reactions of alkenes that we'll discuss are called hydration reactions because they effectively add water across the CC pi bond by adding a hydrogen to one atom and an OH group to the other. The first of these should seem somewhat familiar. If we treat an alkene, like isobutylene, with strong aqueous acid, we'll call it H3O+, we protonate the alkene, generating a carbocation. As we saw earlier, the carbocation is formed at the more substituted site. That carbocation is hungry for electrons, and under aqueous conditions, water is the solvent, so it's everywhere. A water molecule can approach the carbocation from either direction. A final deprotonation step gives a neutral alcohol, where the OH group went to the more substituted carbon of the alkene. This method has some drawbacks, though. First, it's a fully reversible reaction. The backwards reaction is E1 elimination, and it's relatively difficult to control by Le Chatelier's principle. The other drawback is that it proceeds through a carbocation, and though we do, and though we do see carbocations sometimes, they're quite unstable, and they're prone to carbocation rearrangements. We won't study these in 203, but suffice it to say, we try to avoid carbocations if there's an alternative. And lucky for us, there is an alternative. If we treat an alkene with a reagent called mercury-2 acetate, HgOac2, in water, followed by a familiar reagent, sodium borohydride, we reliably, easily, irreversibly, and without any rearrangements, generate the alcohol. The first part of this reaction closely resembles a few other mechaniz mechanisms you've seen recently. The LUMO of mercury acetate is the sigma star HGO orbital. So pi cc donates into it, breaking one of the mercury oxygen bonds. Meanwhile, a lone pair on mercury donates back into pi star cc forming a three-membered ring known as a mercurinium ion. Like our other positively charged three-membered rings, it's opened at the more substituted site by a nucleophile. Here, lots of water is around, so it serves that role. After deprotonation, we have this weird-looking mercury-containing intermediate. Sodium borohydride replaces the mercury with a hydrogen we won't concern ourselves with the mechanism of that step. This sequence, called oxymercuration reduction, is the most reliable way to convert alkenes to alcohols where the OH group goes to the more substituted site.